Russia cannot hide its fleet in the Sea of Azov from Ukrainian missiles. The Russian occupiers understand that it is dangerous for them to have their ships in the Black Sea, so they use only submarines there, Dmitry Pletenchuk, spokesman for the Ukrainian Navy, said. A submarine is more vulnerable at its base. However, there was information that even at its base, they keep them in a semi-submerged state. Only the bridge remains above water. This is one of the methods. They draw the outlines of submarines on the asphalt, for example, and on the pier. These are their means of misleading. A submarine is a rather difficult target while underwater, which is why they came to use these units, Pletenchuk explained. He also added that now the occupiers cannot transfer all their ships from the Black Sea to the Sea of Azov, although they would be much safer there. In Azov, they trained their personnel, even fired four missiles from one of the small missile ships of the Buyan-M project. And after that, they returned again to their base in Novorossiysk. Azov? can be considered relatively safer for them since they have narrowed the passage through the Kirsch Strait as much as possible. But after some objects were hit quite far from the line of combat, these ships also left the waters of Azov. And being in Azov all the time is not an option for them. It is quite difficult to maneuver there. There are shallow depths and a small number of routes, Pletenchuk said. He also noted that it would be quite difficult for the occupiers to withdraw their ships from the Black Sea and Azov seas since these are closed waters. However, there are still options. It will soon be possible to leave the closed water area quietly since the passage of the canals only occurs in the surface position. Therefore, we can say that they are closed here. However, in the event of an escalation and the danger of total destruction, they can always leave this water area and go through internal waters to the Caspian. However, we can only guarantee at least some security in the Azov Black Sea region if there are no combat units of the Black Sea fleet in principle, Pletenchuk said. Poland may start shooting down Russian missiles and drones over Ukraine, mechanism to be developed. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said that Ukraine and Poland are seeking to develop a mechanism for jointly shooting down Russian missiles and drones over Ukrainian territory. Zelensky said this at a joint press conference with Polish Prime Minister Donald Tusk. We are especially grateful for the special agreements and this is reflected in the security agreement and a provision is provided for the development of a mechanism for shooting down Russian missiles and drones in the airspace of Ukraine launched in the direction of Poland, Zelensky said. The president is confident that the teams from both countries' ministries of defense will work together with the military on how the countries can quickly implement this point of the agreement. In turn, as Tusk said, the idea of responding to Russian missile attacks is being discussed when missiles during strikes on Ukraine are directed towards Poland. In particular, the option of trying to shoot down these missiles in the skies over Ukraine so as not to wait until they reach NATO airspace is being considered. And this seems absolutely logical. Poland was the first country that started talking to Ukraine about this. We need unambiguous cooperation within NATO for this because this kind of action still requires common NATO responsibility. Tusk emphasized, adding that this is in the interests of Poland and Ukraine, so that everything that concerns our common security, our joint actions, bears the stamp of international solidarity, in particular NATO. We are open. Logic shows that this would be much more effective, Tusk said. He added that there were no illusions that this would be an easy solution. And therefore, in the document, we have recorded the desire and need for such a conversation. We will include allies from other NATO countries in this conversation. We are treating the matter seriously, openly, but it is not yet finished. Tusk noted, he promised that as Prime Minister of Poland, he would talk to allies to discuss how such joint action could be organized. He also said that Polish President Andrzej Duda would also talk about it. Tusk named the condition under which Ukraine could receive a squadron of MiG-29s. In particular, if NATO decides to replace these aircraft in Poland with other aircraft, then Ukraine will be able to receive this aircraft.